this video we will be solving problem based on how to find the linear transformation in the previous video we have discussed whether we have to, how to check the linear transformation by satisfying two conditions in this video we are gonna learn how to find the linear transformation that means the vice versa we are gonna do so you can observe here previous question we have discussed so in this question we need to find this part okay now the given thing is that t of 1,0 is equal to 2,3 and t of 0,1 is equal to 4,5. Mapping is from R square to R square. So two elements are involved over here. Okay, fine. So always remember the final answer will be this. That means x, y just expanding that means linear linear combination okay express as linear combination x into 1,0 plus y into 0,1. 1,0 and 0,1 are the standard basis. Always remember 1,0 and 0,1 for the R square case. Two elements. Okay. T of multiply T on both sides. I am just explaining the equation part, last part. Okay. We'll just substitute after that. So T of x comma y will be T multiplying this part also RHS with T. So x into 1,0 plus y of 0,1 then t of just simplifying this i will get it as x into t of 1,0 and y into t of 0,1 1 t of 1,0 is given in the question that is nothing but 2,3 and t of 0,1 is given in the question that is 4,5 so just multiplying x with this and y with this so x into this and this so 2x plus 4y comma 3x plus 5y okay this is t of x comma y this will be the final answer sometimes we will take one more problem in that problem sometimes what happens always remember these three steps this will be the final answer step so if the question is not given whether if the question does not contain this value as well as this value which is nothing but the standard basis that is 1 comma 0 and 0 comma 1 if it is not given in the question then we have to find this value as well as this value in order to get the linear transformation let us see one more problem so always remember these three steps is necessary then only you can get the answer so guys second question is here find the linear transformation t r square to r square two elements are involved t of 1 comma 1 is equal to 0 comma 1 then t of minus 1 comma 1 is equal to 3 comma 2 so observe carefully that t of 1 comma 0 and t of 0 comma 1 is not given but in the previous problem it was given observe here okay so we need to what we need to do whatever is there so e1 is nothing but the standard basis as i said e1 will be 1 comma 0 and e2 will be 0 comma 1 what i will do i will express this 1 comma 1 and minus 1 comma 1 as a linear combination with respect to e1 and e2 so it's nothing but see here this part x comma y is x into 1 comma 0 y into 0 comma 1 it's same as this 1 comma 1 1 into 1 comma 0 plus 1 into 0 comma 1 okay now i need to multiply with t so t of 1 comma 1 is equal to t of this part t of 1 comma 1 is given in the question that is 0 comma 1 and t of this observe here t of 1 into this is again the same thing 1 into this is the same thing t of 1 comma 0 is nothing but t of e1 e1 we have the standard basis 1 comma 0 then 0 comma 1 is e2 so t of e2 i can write just t of e2 now this will take it as first equation then we'll take minus 1 comma 1 and express as a linear combination it's the same way how we express our here okay minus 1 into 1 comma 0 plus 1 into 0 comma 1 so t of multiplying both sides with t so t of minus 1 comma 1 is given in the question 3 comma 0 is equal to this minus sign is there so minus t e1 plus t e2 this is e2 this is e1 minus sign is there i have taken outside this will be the second question second equation so we need to solve these two equations in order to get we need to get what t of e1 and t of e2 t 
t of e1 is nothing but t of 1 comma 0 then t of 0 comma 1 is t of e2 okay we need to get that so moving further i will add both these equations so that this and this get cancelled you can observe these two equations just observe so this equation as well as this equation okay observe carefully so you can see over here that this t t e1 minus t e1 get cancelled so remaining will be 2 e2 t e2 equal to adding lhs part that is 0 comma 1 and uh, 3 comma 2 so adding 3 plus 0 is 3 2 plus 1 is 3 so you get it as 3 comma 3 here 2 times t e2 is there so i'll take to this side it will be t e2 will be 3 by 2 comma 3 by 2 so i have got what t e2 this part i got now i need to get t e1 how to get that again solving these two equations i'll just subtract these two so that e2 whatever e1 part is there that will remain and e2 part will get cancelled so observe here 1 comma uh, 1 minus 2 that is first equation minus second equation 2 t e1 is equal to 0 comma 1 observe here this is nothing but the lhs part 0 comma 1 minus 3 comma 2 minus 3 comma 2 so 0 minus 3 it's minus 3 1 minus 2 is minus 1 so taking to this side it will be minus 3 by 2 comma minus 1 by 2 see here this is the final part as i said before in the previous question we have done only this much correct because in that question the final part we have t of e1 and t of e2 the values were given but in this question it is not given that's why we did a long procedure we okay so x comma y is equal to x into the same thing we have discussed y into 0 comma 1 then multiplying with t so x into t 1 comma 0 see we found out this value this was this value was not given in the question this is nothing but t of e1 and this is nothing but t of e2 correct t of e1 and t of e2 so y into t of e2 t of e1 then just multiplying so it will be minus 3x by 2 plus 3y by 2 then minus 1 x by 2 plus 3y by 2 so this will be the final linear transformation always remember this step you need to remember okay this this three steps you need to remember always remember whenever the question the values are not given yet then you have to express as a linear combination okay this is the way to express as a linear combination then you need to get t of e1 and t of e2 such that in the equation whatever this equation is there so that you can substitute okay here in this question the directly the values were given so in order to check whether your answer is correct or not in order to verify your answer so you can just put t of 1 comma 1 and t of minus 1 comma 1 that means in place of x i have to put 1 y i have to put 1 i have to check whether i am getting here 0 uh, comma 1 or not as well you can check for this also t of minus 1 this was given in the question okay